Over the last 20 years, it's been my privilege to train some of the most highly skilled operators in the world, including fighter pilots, naval captains and submarine commanders. I've learned to cherish these special moments, so when an opportunity comes your way to spend a day riding out with the world's most highly trained police bikers, why wouldn't you want that? My name's Neil. I came back to the bike after a 37 year break a few years ago. I'm a qualified advanced rider through the uh, IM's Road Smart scheme, but always on the lookout to sharpen my skills. So I signed up for a bike safe workshop with Northamptonshire Police, whose Chief Constable is the National Police Chief's Council Lead for Motorcycling, and best of all, they let me film it. The day was hosted by four members of the North Ants Police motorcycle team from the county's Special Operations Department. Chris led the session, explained what the day would involve, and after we'd all introduced ourselves, we got straight out onto the road for a quick check ride. So here we're heading south out of Northampton. On bike safe, you get to ride out in pairs, and each biker gets a turn to lead with an officer observing. So in our case, that was Chris, who leads the North Ants bike team. I get to go first with my Oppo jersey bringing up the rear. Jersey passed its full motorcycle test just under a year ago. He's part way through an IAM road smart course, and like me, wants to see what he can learn from the police. We've been told to ride our normal ride, uh, observe the speed limits, but have some fun. Chris also mentions we should ignore him unless he's given his directions. So we've got to keep a weather out for, for those in, the, in our mirrors. The purpose of this first brief check ride is just to give the officers a quick look-see to gauge our ability and help them calibrate the workshop to our level. Uh, they'll also be looking for any serious issues that might be a danger to our safety. We swap round halfway through when I follow Chris and Jersey back to North Ants Police HQ. OK, so we've called up the uh, group in front. As is usual with uh, bike safe, you go out with um, one police officer to uh, two riders, and you stop every now and then and get some feedback. Pedestrian on the left hand side, give them a little bit of room. Drop in for the oncoming traffic. Central position.
Um, one thing I did mean to say before I left is ignore what I'm doing. Okay, so I, I, will, I will ride out of position. There's a number of reasons for that. One is I don't want you trying to copy what I'm doing while you're watching the mirror, so I want you to ride your own ride. Two, we've got other things that we're looking for, so it may be that I'll be on that side so I'm looking to see what you're doing with your feet or how you're using the controls. Um, but just, yeah, you, whether you're at the back, whether you're at the front, ride your own line, okay? Ignore what I'm doing. You may look a little bit alien if you think, uh, well, I'm, I'm going into this position because I think I need to be here for whatever reason, for a bend, for example. But the cop behind me is doing something totally different. Hmm. Don't read anything into that at all. Okay? Sure. Just, just ride for yourself. Wh whatever I'm doing, just ride for yourself. There may be times where there's a benefit of me to be in position, and I'll and I'll do that. Um, but generally speaking, when I'm following you, you, you may see me in some rather strange positions. Is that okay? Just, mm -hmm. just don't mind doing it. Brilliant. Okay. Brilliant. No issues with that, Neil. Fantastic. Uh, are you happy to lead us back? Okay, in your own time. Then we're just going to take exactly the same route back. Perhaps when we get to the big roundabout, I might just jump in front of you and lead back into piece of Okay. Okay. Nothing about so far. Yep. Pace okay. Yeah, it's good. Brilliant. So into the classroom and Chris showed us a few slides and videos which prompted a really good debate for the eight attendees and the officers present shared a few of their anecdotes as well. Uh, our group that day comprised me, uh, an IM observer, um, a couple of guys I think who'd passed their uh, riding test uh, recently, uh, but also a few guys who'd been riding sports bikes at a good standard for years but wanted a top up to make sure they got home safe. So the classroom session provides a brief intro to the IPSCA uh, system, the system for motorcycle control. And you'll find plenty of information about that on the, either the IM's website or ROSPA's website. We're now on the uh, beginning of our second ride. The first ride is just going to be just to get the, uh, the officers just have a look at uh, our basic skills. We've just done uh, probably two and a half hours in the classroom, just uh, understanding the, uh, the basic principles of the um, advanced riding system, the IPSCA system, which uh, plenty of information on on my channel and uh, on other channels about that. But just a good talk, a little bit of video and uh, some practical wisdom imparted. So just uh, a comment as well, um, just to say that um, I'm following Chris. Um, because Chris is observing today, he will not be in a, let's say, sort of a standard position. So please don't read too much into uh, is uh, positioning today. So he's riding one of North Ant's unmarked uh, BMWs. And we should get a little bit of a tour around that later on. OK, 
Okay, so we're out into the Northamptonshire countryside now, so uh, we're following uh, Jersey today. Followed by Chris, followed by me. Beautiful day, chance of a shower later on. But, uh, nice and dry at the moment. And interestingly, this is the same route uh, you might recognise from my IAM uh, biker test. Nearly two years ago now. So for me, the point of coming out on uh, bike safe is to uh, is I think partly to help to uh, promote the brand, which I do believe in very firmly. And I'm spending a day with the uh, the best of the best riders in the UK. It's got to help your riding. But secondly, um, for me, it's the uh, just the fact I can get a brush up, you know, it's, uh, like I say, nearly two years now since I took my test. And any feedback I can get is a gift, really. Bad habits creep in. So accelerating up the hill towards the right-hander, so into the left. Northamptonshire roads with sort of garage marks and scars in it. So you look as far as you can down the road and work back towards yourself. A long observe is this. Chris is giving Jersey a really good, uh, really good ride here. And then the idea then is that we uh, we pull over. And I think our meat is the uh, super sausage, which no many of you will know. Just on the A5 here in uh, central England, the Midlands, famous biker cafe. And we'll get a debrief, or Jersey will get a debrief. The road surface a little bit muddy here, gravel as well. the village of Lichborough. Again, there is mud and gravel around. I can use the white van here to mirror what's, what's ahead. And we just roll down to 30, no need to brake. to my sheepdog mode here, let's keep this car in. Okay. Again, sheepdog mode, just hold him in. out for the dog. Saturday afternoon, so people out enjoying themselves in the uh, 
nice afternoon, or well, mid-afternoon sunshine, I should say. Gravel on that corner, so I don't want to take it too tightly. On a better surface, wider road now. Again, I'll just mention that Chris today isn't positioning necessarily for view, he will position for safety, but his, uh, his main aim really is to uh, put himself in a position where he can see what uh, Jersey's doing on the bike. So, for example, he may position left if he wants to uh, look at gear changes, or he may position right if he's looking for rear brake, for example. And the instruction is just to ride like we'd normally ride. Which I've got to say from my previous experience is not easy as it sounds when you've got a, a police officer following you. Friendly though he is. And people from today's group, we have eight in the group, come from as far as Cambridgeshire and as uh, far south as, uh, as Milton Keynes. We have uh, an IM observer on the uh, on the course today. Again, somebody who wants to brush up on their skills, wants some feedback. I've got to say, a lot of the value in um, something like this is when you get the, uh, the opportunity to follow a professional rider. Just uh, picking up the rhythm, really. I have to say, we can't read too much into Chris's position today, although he always positions safely. But just the general rhythm and confidence. It's uh, what I would call an assertive ride. There's, uh, there's a certain body language about uh, a Class 1 police rider. And it was explained to us now there are actually uh, three for the standards of police motorcyclists. There's those who just do a, a very basic course, who can sort of use the bike to get from A to B, and for sort of certain light duties. Then there's the uh, advanced course, which involves uh, significantly more training. Where you're getting into uh, three figures, 100 mile an hour plus. And then there's a third layer on the cake where Essentially, you can um, troll off of this 30. You can you can start to specialise. Into uh, you know the likes of close protection or various escorts and so forth. And it's great to see that uh, Northampton Police have got their bikes back. which apparently went into storage when uh, there were certain budget cuts and they relied on, I think, uh, other county police forces for their bikes and they, well, North Ants provided other services to those counties and so forth. But it was, uh, I think, recognised that Northamptonshire did actually need the bikes and the Northamptonshire Police uh, Chief Constable uh, is actually quite a keen um, motorcyclist himself and I think um, has something to do with the, uh, the National Police Motorcyclists. Be pulling in. You know, just there, uh, Chris pulled ahead. Maybe on a pub car park, eh?
Right, my turn to lead. So Chris will be following me. We've got a blindish corner here, so we don't want to be too too far out, and there's a car there as well. Shadows from the left, so we can look out for a car coming, just if we see a shadow moving there. We're still in the 30 zone, I can see the 40 sign there over the hedge. position too much into the edges of these uh, roads here, the um, road surface doesn't allow it, there's quite a steep cross fall and as you get in towards the verge it can actually be, um, can actually be quite rough. Bike safe is highly subsidised, it's not training as such, uh, a day isn't enough for that but you'll learn a huge amount and hopefully consider taking an advanced IAM or ROSPA course yourself. And what you're getting is a day with officers who've been trained to the highest technical standards. You've got thousands of hours in the saddle in all kinds of weather, uh, factoring to their low speed control, their high speed skills and a hard won ability to translate vast amounts of uh, information into uh, taking the safest place on the road. And I personally don't believe you'll find any better riders on the planet. I think many bikers out there uh, see the police as a threat. I can promise you that if you spend a day with them, you'll have a lot of fun, you'll pick up a load of skills, uh, and you'll enjoy your bike 100% more. Uh, they often say, don't they, that the best modification that you can uh, get for your bike is proper training. Uh, but as well as all that, it'll change your perspective on who they are, what they do, uh, and what motivates them. Blue BMW on the wrong side of the road there. from the oncoming vehicle now. Left hander so I'm moving out to the right. Again just tuck in. Take the position again. So we've got a diesel wagon up ahead. Gonna hold us up a little bit. And two cyclists. So we'll just let the situation just develop a little bit, don't want to be sat right behind him. Ah, good. Oh, wonderful. We're losing both the cyclists and the, uh, the wagon.
functional stuff, but I'm not stylish. But it's just you're a, you're a very tidy rider. Very, Thank you. Very neat, tidy, um, and and consistent as well. It, 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 it's completely apparent following you that you've you've, you've done training, um, and if that was representative of your normal ride, then you're up there where you would expect a good advanced rider to be. So if that, if that was normal for you, then you've got no concerns.